Welcome back to The Independence. It is time once again for us to turn to the wisdom of our good friend and mentor, Judge Andrew Napolitano. Well, this is comforting. Director of National Intelligence James Clapper, who famously lied to Congress about the NSA's bulk data collection, now says, oh, by the way, we probably should have been honest with the American people from the beginning. Mm, that would have been great. Clapper tells the Daily Beast's Eli Lake that after 9-11, the government should have been more transparent, told the American people why it was necessary to collect so much communications data. So uh, should I feel better about this, Judge? I really think he has no credibility uh, whatsoever. After that famous where he rubbed his forehead lying and then was given the opportunity to correct that lie under oath by Senator Wyden. And by the way, Senator Wyden was in a box because he knew the truthful answer, but he wasn't able to say what the truthful answer was because he took an oath to keep the truthful answer secret. So you, you now are, uh, are listening to the words of a person who lied on national television and under oath. And the, the excuse is he worked for the government, therefore he shouldn't be prosecuted. That's baloney. And he should be prosecuted, and he can be, by whatever Justice Department succeeds this one. But he does make an interesting uh, statement here. His statement is based on the political acceptability of telling us about spying, not on its l absence of lawfulness or immorality. And he seems to feel if we had learned about this in, in the mania, in the crazy days that followed 9-11, we might have accepted it. Not that that would have made it legal, not that we should know that the Congress is doing this, not that, all, that, that, that even the Congress didn't know about this, but it would have been easier to accept had we known that. Uh, but he also uh, equated the, the data collection with uh, he and his wife buying fire insurance, which, you know, this is an analogy that, that doesn't really hold up because if you are actively trying to protect yourself against something, you are participating in that exchange, in that agreement. And you freely choose the product. Yes. As opposed to having your, your rights just stripped away by a decision of the president and a bunch of bureaucrats and 12 members of Congress also sworn to secret and 12 federal judges also sworn to secret. No great debate by the Congress on this whatsoever. In my view, even the Congress couldn't authorize this because it would violate the Fourth Amendment. But at least there would have been a debate and the American public would have been aware of it. Uh, he seems to feel it would have been easier if, if, for us to accept it if it came out earlier. He might be right. Those days after 9-11 were so crazed, the public was willing to accept almost anything. Government decided it didn't want us to know about it. It wanted its own interpretation of the uh, Patriot Act and the FISA laws. Uh, and it would spy on everybody, the courts, the military, the CIA, the Congress, and all of us. Judge, not many Americans are aware that the whole idea of national secrecy in the name of defense is an artifact of a 1948 Air Force crash in which the Air Force was lying to the bereaved family about yes. the nature of the crash. The crash it was actually a drone crash uh, for, for historical buffs. Uh, and they lied because they wanted to cover their behinds about having bad mechanical things. This led to U.S. versus Reynolds in 1953, which is the constitutional basis. And the doctrine of state secrecy. Is there any chance of that decision or the doctrine behind it to be challenged or overturned in the near future? Oh, absolutely. Uh, there have been numerous comments made by various members of the Supreme Court, as disparate as uh, Justice Antonin Scalia and Justice uh, Sonia Sotomayor, a tantalizing alliance, if ever yes. there was one. Uh, about the need to revisit the entire ability of the government to keep information uh, from us. I mean, this concept of state secrets has terrified federal judges to the point where they don't want to know, uh, in, even in, in the secrecy of their chambers, what the state secrets are. A federal judge in Lower Manhattan was recently persuaded by the Obama Justice Department that legal rationale could constitute a state secret. What? Legal rationale is based on law publicly existing, publicly enacted, publicly available laws. But the rationale from those laws would be secret if she accepted that. Well, Judge Knapp, I wonder if we could return to the headline for just a moment here. I mean, what, what Mr. Clapper is suggesting is that had we known about this, that the program might have gone, gone in and most Americans wouldn't have complained. There's at least some evidence that that might be true. I mean, we do have the TSA, we have Homeland Security, we've got a nest of bureaucracies that are doing all sorts of things that may or may not be constitutional, and folks aren't complaining. Camille, They're going I, through the hand scan. I, I, the I regrettably agree with you and to some extent with Director Clapper. Again, if he's telling the truth, yeah. who knows? Because most people, when faced, between a faced with a choice of liberty and security, and they are afraid, will choose security over liberty. And, and, and the Patriot Act 
passed with overwhelming majorities of both houses of Congress. This is the most unconstitutional, repugnant, anti-American piece of legislation since the Alien and Sedition Acts. And it passed overwhelmingly in both houses of Congress because it was within uh, a month of 9-11. So we might have accepted it in, in that era, and we would, have reject, we would have regretted having accepted it. Okay, so let me ask you this. Uh, Section 215 expires next year. Do you think it's going to be renewed? I don't know. I really, really think that the Congress uh, has a handle on this. A, a, a good friend of ours and of the show, uh, Congressman Justin Amash, who nearly had a majority of the members of the House to restrict the budget of the NSA, told me next year he will have the majority, that a lot of Democrats are coming in. This is before Senator Sanders, the socialist of Vermont, wrote to General Alexander saying, are you spying on members of Congress? The answer was, members, members of Congress get the same constitutional protection as other Americans. Which so is in, other say, words, in other words, none. Yeah, so yes, we are indeed. Yes, I, I, I think you'll see some substantial change in the law when this comes up for renewal because they've gone way too far and they lied about it. Very good. Thank you very much, Jeff. Pleasure. Thanks for having me. All right.